listen to what everyone else is take your time you're not their mess yeah you might not be at your best but it's fine i don't mind telling truths when you need to hear them and be kind hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new vlog i decided to pick up the camera today i was just feeling vlogging i don't know if i'll vlog today and tomorrow just today i'm not sure yet but i am thinking let's have like a cozy day at home let's make some food later on let's clean the house have a bit of an autumn clean um and yeah just See where the day takes us so if you haven't already i would love it if you would stick around and subscribe if you enjoy the kind of autumn festive cozy content we have lots more coming your way make sure you're set ready as always guys grab the snacks light the candles get a cozy drink and let's spend the next however long this video is going to be half an hour to an hour together um yeah and i hope you guys enjoy it so before i get started with the rest of the vlog i do very kindly have a sponsor today so many people message saying can you do a she and haul can you do a she and haul i've done a few in the past but um yeah you guys seem to love the she and content so i have placed an order i have received a big box of goodies both home and fashion so we've got a collection here to unbox and share with you. Some seasonal bits, some cozy bits, and yeah. So I will leave all of these products linked below and she and very kindly are sponsoring this part of today's video. So not only does that mean I have all of these items to share with you guys and link in the description box for you to shop, but I also have a discount code for you. So if you use the code HiFreya, you can get a 15% off of your order. And as Shein says, if you wanna save money and live in style, then check out their website. They've got so many products. Honestly, I could spend hours just browsing their website. Let's just delve in and share with you the things that I did pick up. I have to say, guys, sat on this floor is making me very nervous. Saw quite a few spiders recently. And I'm just, when I say spiders, I'm talking monsters. I have never seen spiders this big before in England. I swear this year we've had four maybe so far in a month which I know doesn't sound that much but each time I see one I'm like then on edge and like everywhere I go I'm like checking things before I go in the rooms <laughs> so sat on the floor for me is a big deal right now okay anyway the first item super super cozy throw oh my god how cozy it's so soft it's one of these like knitted throws but it's in a really like rich deep beige color which I thought would look perfect thrown over um, the sofa at this time of the year you just want to get cozy and snuggle and we are a big fan of having huge throws in this house especially having a dog I'm just like throws over everything so that you can't ruin the furniture and um, this also is big enough for our bed I might even throw it over there as well have it on the bed may even need to purchase the second one but no I really really like this all of their things as well I find to be really affordable meaning you can get more of what you really love so this is the first item super super cozy throw Skipping ahead to fashion in this part because I saw this and was like really wanted to get my hands on it. I thought for those days where I'm just like today, for instance, cleaning around the house, getting jobs done and I want to be comfy, but also can easily just throw a cardigan on it over it, then this hopefully will be ideal. Sorry, I just need to change my battery battery i've literally just changed it one second we are back anyway yeah this is like a jumpsuit is that what we call them unitard um and it's very much like the same fabric that you guys will i'm not going to mention brands but you know the leggings that i love and live in this feels exactly the same such great quality like double lined it's got padded cups in as well which are removable if you want to take them out and it does have like a seamed detail which I think is quite flattering down the front, but um, yeah, it's feather light, no, sorry, feather fit fabric. And it's got all of these added benefits there. What size did I get this? I tend to get everything like in a, either a medium or large. This one is a large. Just check their size and charts because I know they vary from item to item. When it comes to cleaning, and actually one thing that I do need to do is the ovens, but it's 
the least favourite job of mine <laughs> and I thought I would get these oven liner protectors that you can just pop at the bottom of your oven just to help protect it from any spillages. This is a two piece which comes with this top. I got it in an extra large, slightly oversized fit on me but it comes with this top half which is like a cropped almost sleeveless blazer. These are the bottoms that come with it. I love the colour and the button on these. And then they just go down into like a straight leg, very simple. And not only as a cold, but these trousers even just more casually with some chunky trainers and a basic white tee. It's a sort of go-to option for me. I much prefer wearing stuff like that over jeans. Okay, I also picked up some new napkins for our tablescape for dining table and I picked up this set of four in fact I think I've got two of these there's another pack in there so that I've got a set of eight which I thought this color all year round not just for autumn or even winter Christmasy with it being green I just thought spring summer it's just a beautiful color it's a color theme that runs throughout our kitchen anyway so I've got four of these like linen napkins I tend to just roll them up fold them in half and then thread them through a napkin ring so it's kind of shaped like that next up i got this little set of pjs these are the softest material ever they must be like must be must be like a brushed cotton type thing whereby i don't know i don't know how they do it it's just super soft so i did get a large in these and a oversized tee these are kind of a little bit out of season but still good for those warmer September days. I'm thinking like round the house again with a basic white tee and then for the rest of the year as well spring and summer. They're like a linen trouser, high waisted, just a good staple. So I got these in a large and I would say size up in these because for me the stretchy waistband and the adjustable drawstring I prefer to size up and then tighten it at the waist. I saw this as well and I thought these would make for a great basic i got two different styles i think i'll show you the other one in a second but it's a one shoulder black top this one has a bit of ruching on the side and then at the top as well and even more casually with jeans and a blazer i like that asymmetric style one shoulder design so this is the other design of top that i got this one's like got it's off shoulder but it's slouchy kind of like so you can see a bit of collarbone also this one's more of like a almost got sheen to it like a satiny kind of fabric if i'm after a dressy top i always feel like i lack dressy tops i also picked up a good old classic from she and i feel like everyone now needs or has one of these water flasks that just are so practical keeps nice and cool they've got loads of different colors a little practical purchase that i just think is a must for everyone especially those of you that ask me how i wear my like racer style vests and you don't want your straps on show i don't ever wear a strapless bra so if you're gonna wear a bra the straps would be on show now these are genius they're like a little flower clasp that allows you to have your bra straps here and here and clasped in the middle of your back so it turns your ordinary bra once you lengthen the straps into a racer back bra i also picked up this for a little practical purchase it is a set of i have a couple of these but not a full set set of packing cubes for traveling these are ideal for even just for like a night away i just feel like having everything compartmentalized just makes life so much easier this is the one that i already have um but now i've got a second one i always use this for my makeup so it's got different compartments within here also comes with a, a little hook so if and when you are traveling you can just simply hook it up somewhere so that you can have ease of access for all your products inside good little shoe bag that one this one which is just like a zip opening again has a little hanging another little pouch maybe all your makeup brushes and all and again just a packing cube for like clothes underwear swim costumes there's another one here and then a slightly larger one yeah i did also get one of the larger wash bags that they do which basically will just have everything because it's so big for a wash bag um and it does again come in other colors i just got this kind of neutral creamy nude super practical purchase but i love a practical purchase here on this channel now i have actually it's not arrived yet but i've just ordered the new iphone but before i'd ordered that and decided to get it i ordered a phone case so this will fit on my current phone oh, oops just taking a photo accidentally 
This phone case is the perfect phone case for this time of year. How cute is this? It's got on their little leaves and pumpkins and toadstools. I saw these and I thought I'm gonna get them. They are just, I love a stationary purchase and they, again, on Shein have loads of different stationary options, cute colors as well, nice pastels and neutral tones. And I got this little sticker set. It's like little mini post-its. We do actually need little post-its like this, little markers for going around for snagging lists with paints and decorators. So I might use maybe the pink ones for that. I bought this more for styling, but also I guess for to use it as well. But it's one of these sage smudge sticks. Thought this one would be good to actually style up in like a nice wooden bowl, maybe even downstairs somewhere or in the bedroom could be quite nice. But yeah, downstairs somewhere to have like a nice mango wood or acacia wood bowl on display with the smudge stick sat inside it. Whether or not we actually use it, I don't know. Let me know, have you ever used a sage cleansing smudge stick? Let me know. I can see autumn on this one. They do quite a few sets of cushion covers, which I think are so much more practical than buying cushions each year, which I'm fast realizing because cushions take a lot of space up in your storage. On this cushion cover, we just have Farm fresh, open daily, autumn harvest, hay rides, pumpkins, apples, in this kind of like natural hessian color. It also comes with this one, which is just the cutest illustration ever. Then we've got this illustration of cream and gray pumpkins, and it says, but I love fall most of all. And then last but not least, this pumpkin patch one as well, which will go perfectly with that first one. I did also get, there's a couple more clothing items here. I got this slinky kind of, again, double lined dress. It's in this beautiful rich chocolate brown color, which is definitely a color that I have been loving this season. In autumn, you could put like chunky boots, leather jacket with this one, or dress it up with a blazer, just throw on a nice cozy cardigan and have it more casually. What size did I get that in? I got that in a medium. And then the last of the clothing items, again, is just another little PJ set. And I just thought this one would be lovely. It's just plain and simple gray, but I really like the lace detail going down the back. And then the shorts also have the lace along the bottom. A couple of items left. So this is a set of three little, or well, in fact, let me build one so that I can show you. They come in three parts. And then the top, there's three of these and they are brass candlesticks. So especially if you had like a fireplace to have them at either end or on a tablescape would look really nice with some tall church candles in. I like how they've kind of made it look more antique. And then last but not least, I think this is a print, 40 by 60. Yes, again, for this time of year, I thought this would be quite nice to frame this and pop it up, even as seasonal decor. Obviously you could have it out all year round, but it's just like a beautiful, it's kind of like a line drawing of forest trees that are looking very wintry and sparse. And I just think that looks so, so cozy. But that is everything that I did pick up this time round from Shein. Let me know which was your favorite of all of these items that I shared with you. And if you do want to shop any of them, I will link them down below where you can also get 15% off with the code Hi Freya. So yeah, happy shopping guys. And let's jump into the rest of today's vlog. Just been filming the try on clips. Here he comes <laughs> through the legs your favorite thing to do that isn't it um i've just been doing all the try on clips for you for the start of this video for the Shein haul and guys this like love love this i don't know if i'd be brave enough to like wear it out maybe i would it feels fairly like i don't feel like um it feels supportive i don't feel like i'm in a unitard it just feels like i'm in a vest and leggings and then with this thrown over the top it just makes it so much easier and it's so soft so like cozy feeling that i feel like i'm gonna live in this i've just put like a long cardigan on with it and some like little cozy socks and that's me good to go i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day i think i could have probably got a medium as well i will say that it's a little bit it's not it's not like too big but I'd be intrigued to see how the medium fit me. Um, Cause also the legs as well. I feel like there's a lot of stretch with it. So I would actually stay true to size with this one. Pushing time. Gooch in here, put the light on. So I wanted to share with you, or show you, 
Um, still look for spiders when I'm coming. So you're coming down here, coming everywhere at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you some laundry detergent that I've been using and loving. I have, I have talked about it before, um, because they sent me a PR when they first, it's from Tallow and Ash, and it's like a company when they first kind of started up, they sent over some samples for me to try, not to like promote or push, but literally just to try to um, kind of feed back my thoughts and everything like that. So I tried them when they were like in the first stages of being done. If you use dryer balls, do they always just like, uh, you end up taking them upstairs with you? in and amongst the duvet. There's another one in here somewhere, I can feel it. Where is it? But anyway, yeah, I tried Tallow and Ash products when they first were being tested and the, the main thing that I would note about them is that they are quite strongly scented. So like there's an Oud one, for instance, that just smells so like luxurious and manly and oh, divine. I'll show you the ones I'm currently using. Just set that together. Pop a couple of these dryer sheets in. So these are the ones I've got. The duvet day. Oh yeah, that's it. I can't remember the name. Duvet day. So nice. Kind of like. Yeah, that fresh cleaning scent. So you've got uh, laundry conditioner, laundry shampoo, it's a relaxing French lavender base scent, perfect for sensitive skin, which for me is a must. Vegan, cruelty free, sulfate free. And obviously, fill the cap, so I'm just kind of guess. And then the laundry conditioner. Good, I can already smell it. Amazing, it smells amazing. And then. I'm just about to sit down and do my nails and I thought some of you might be interested in seeing what I do. I have shown before, I'm not even in, not even in the shot here. I have like briefly shown it in the past on, I think I called the video my beauty routine or something like that whereby I've done like just my generic, what I do to my hair, my makeup and my nails. So I basically do my own at home gel polish. So I use this CND lamp. I think a good lamp is the key. So I, yeah, would highly recommend getting a good lamp. And then I've just got a little bag full of polishes in like an old coat bag. The shade that I've got on currently is called Coconuts Over OPI. And can you see it just, one of the nails just peeling away there probably really lazy and bad of me but i find when in comparison to having nails done in a salon doing them at home they don't last quite as long and oh, look this one's lifting as well you see that one's lifting as well um yeah they don't last as long i'd say i get about 10 days out of them rather than two to three weeks which is what which is what i got with a salon but um, i find they're not as harsh on my nails and they do end up just like quite easily peeling off so yeah, probably lazy of me, but I do just like, like literally just pick them off. I do like, I am gentle with it and I do have like a little scraper tool as well, which I use. Um, but yeah, it seems to be fine. I mean, I've been doing this now for a long time and I still think my nails are in better condition now than they ever were whenever I went to a salon. So I use this little tool here, which has this end once I've kind of like peeled them off to just kind of scrape the surface, push back the cuticle just gently. And then um, I do have a cuticle cutter. I don't always go in with this. It's just not an actual cutter. It's just one of these things that you kind of skim along the top of your cuticle. And then what I'll do is if I need to trim them with nail clippers, otherwise just file them into like a nice kind of round shape keep them quite short because I do wear contact lenses and I feel like fiddling around with long nails and also I find they break easily, easier at least. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with a base coat and then I do two to three layers depending on the color that I go for, two to three layers of color. I think I'm gonna use Tiramisu for two is a good classic. I might go in with that one today. And then I go in with a top coat and a cuticle oil and I just use these 
lens. If you want to see the proper in-depth, then that video goes through everything. But I just use these little lint pads, which I need to order some more actually, and nail prep and polish wipe to, once I've prepped my nails, I just run it over once with a lint wipe just to make sure everything is off, any kind of bits of hair or fluff or whatever is off my nails before going in with the first layer of the base coat. And then also, because when you use gel, it kind of leaves like a sticky residue afterwards, I'll then go in with another one after I've finished them. And then I just set each time for 60 seconds on the lamp and I'm done. So this is my before. And I will show you what the color looks like afterwards. I've actually got that tiramisu for two one. I need to plug in the lamp and plugs under here. I've got the tiramisu for two on my, um, on my toenails currently. <laughs> it's just a good classic that I end up going back to. I do want to get some more though, some more brown nudes, um, beige, that kind of color palette because that's my only real color palette I ever go for. I do have like a green color, where is it? But I don't reach for it that often. This kind of like dark olive green for my toes maybe, but for my hands I find it's a bit too much. And then like a burgundy one for around Christmas time. Oh, I could do burgundy on my toes next time actually. Even on my nails, I feel like it'd be really nice. It's just, it's quite dark. And I find, for me personally, I think I've decided I prefer lighter shades on my nails. Or should I go in with that one? No, I'm gonna go in with Terra Super 2. And whilst I do that, I just prop up a YouTube video. Or currently, what I've been doing is catching up from the night before's Married at First Sight UK, which... Can I say this time for the first time? I'm actually, because I'm keeping up with it, I'm really enjoying. Let me know if you're watching. my nails this is what the color looks like nice neutral shade for me my skin tone is like a pinky kind of neutral shade but what I do is just to finish it off I just go in with the cuticle oil and just really hydrate and I find this really helps in terms of like keeping my nails feeling nice and nourished I literally just dab a bit on here quite a bit actually and then just rub it in. This is like an almond oil, I think. But yeah, lovely, feeling nice and fresh. <laughs> Ready to clean the house with, <laughs> which is not the best way around. I should have done it the other way around, but uh, yeah, feeling good, feeling strong and healthy and brand new, like a whole new woman. I wanna be so much better you're Come on. I say something clever Guys, I have a bit of a confession to make. You gonna come say hello, Barney? No, just stay there. Oh, you are coming to say hello. Yeah, it's actually a couple of days later from when I started this vlog. I basically, the day just got away with me. I had a couple of things on or things come up that I had to deal with and it meant that I didn't finish filming for the rest of the day. So. It has been a couple of days because yesterday I was out and about at the hairdressers. I've had a bit of a trim. I don't know if you can tell if I bring it in front. You can see it's a little bit shorter. I decided to just switch things up a little bit in terms of the colours pretty much the same. I have baby lights towards the roots so that I can 
get away with fewer hairdresser appointments and the root growth isn't that like horrendous or like block um but yeah what do we think of the shorter length it's not like short still a bit of length on there but i'm kind of over the really really long hair i just feel like i don't know i just feel it looks healthier when i have a good trim so i have had a trim <laughs> Barney, he was at daycare all day yesterday, weren't you? Playing with all your friends. So we've been for a nice walk this morning. Oh, guys, pets honestly just make a house a home. I have so much love for this dog. It's probably unhealthy, um, but yeah, they're just the best. I honestly don't know what I did without you. What did we do without? You? Oh, thank you for your paw. You just took you. <laughs> I could just eat you we don't want to see that um but yeah I still have quite a bit of cleaning and tidying to do just open the shutters so the lighting was a bit better but um yeah we still have quite a bit to do so I thought I would pick up the camera again today to continue this vlog I'm wearing my very comfy round the house attire this is the uh collab that Gemma did with inner style loving so cozy but anyway let's crack on oh in fact i got this it was actually quite a while ago now but we had a pr event with next in manchester let me just where shall i sit let me just plop myself down one second i think i might possibly pop out to go and treat myself treat myself invest in a new vlogging camera because this one is pretty much on its last legs it's the first ever canon g7x that i bought for this channel so obviously i've been doing this now for what six years seven years so it's certainly lasted me but it's peeling away the screen keeps flipping and it needs tightening and it just keeps on loosening and loosening and it's just the bane of my life is trying to fix this camera each time i film so i think it's time for a fresh new one and um yeah it's just one of those things isn't it it's an expense that's just like ugh. i do have another one which i love for like sat down haul videos and content like that but for actual vlogging i think the g7x mark ii is the best but anyway i've got this little pr parcel from next when we went to this event at saku samba with them and they gave us a handbag from their new like autumn winter range in this gorgeous deep uh green color cozy throw cozy blanket again in the rust good for autumn they also had included in the goodie bag a pure white rediffuser i actually have this one currently downstairs in the like kind of kitchen living area so it's only got a little bit left so i'll be able to just replace it with this one as soon as that is finished a couple of beauty bits get hand cream high shine lip gloss in the shade rhubarb and then i love these a little four pack of socks they're kind of giving i don't know the vibes aren't they there's like a green, grey and two black at the back. Oh, cushioned sole. That's a little PR parcel. I did have ordered some bits. I'm going to actually use these today. Let me show you what I've been buying good old Amazon purchase. But um, TikTok shop, Amazon purchase, they always make buy these kind of things. Well, firstly, we'll get these on <laughs> for cleaning. But I need to do something really jump then. Um, did you think this was for you? Although they do kind of look like dog toys and I feel like he might be tempted for these as a toy when in fact they're slippers for me for when I'm cleaning yeah just because when I'm hoovering and mopping that floor which is like quite a big space I always find like if I'm barefoot I leave footprints after I've mopped or like my shoes so I thought I'll have specifically dedicated cleaning slippers of which you can just detach the bottom and throw them in the wash so I've got a steam mop which is fine but tiktok suckered me in with essentially one of these floor brushes and it's got a squeegee on one side so you can literally a bit of fairy washing up liquid or floor cleaner to use on the floor and then you 
give it a good scrub so you can get like kind of in all the grooves. I've got LVT um, glue down tiles which are waterproof. So yeah, you can get a real good scrub in there and then use the squeegee to kind of like squeegee all the water up. So yeah, we're gonna give this a go today. I did have a quick look at some books. I've got a couple of new coffee table books. There's so many more spaces downstairs that I feel like need nice books, especially in the new like kind of black room, front room. Um, and we're close to hopefully having a sofa in there very soon. We have chosen one, which is very exciting. And I've also got a new, I think I have anyway, a new sofa bed coming, which we're gonna pop in the, what was the cinema room, might be in future a gym, down in the basement, which will be a spare room for over Christmas period whilst we've got family staying with us. So yeah, I'm gonna put that sofa bed in there. And hopefully it will stay there, but we'll see um, if I need to move it anywhere else. I might move it into this room and have this as a full wall-to-wall ward, -wall wardrobe, get rid of these drawers and have a, not a bed in here, but a sofa that can be a bed so that if we do have people over, this can be a bedroom as well. But anyway, this book, Soft Minimal, I just thought it looked gorgeous. The actual cover and everything obviously is beautiful, but it's a sensory approach to architecture and design and it's got this beautiful linen cover i just think it's stunning i'll just give you a quick overview of some of the imagery oh, how beautiful look at the, all these linens i definitely want to switch out our bedding to like some more linen textures like this like real rustic linens love that a very kind of like minimal soft minimal um aesthetic book that one and then I also got this Nomad Home this reminds me of when we went to Marrakesh and we actually went to a restaurant called Nomad in right in the heart of the Medina the souk markets that was in Marrakesh so it was honestly if, if you've never been to Marrakesh and you think no it's going to be way out of my comfort zone guys I am the queen of comfort zones and it, I still look back to this day and think, I, I'm so thankful for Tom taking me on that trip because um, I just gained so many memories and experience of different cultures and I just took a lot from it. I think we only went for about four nights, something like that. Um, and we stayed right in the heart of Marrakesh. We stayed in a Riyadh that was beautiful. Only small, but the stuff there was so lovely. And it's like when you get in, it's almost like a little escape from what's going on around you in the souk markets, the hustle and bustle. So yeah, it was such a lovely trip. And then we did take a day out to the Atlas Mountains to do a nice walk, which I think is what I loved most. Um, but yeah, if ever, you're thinking of a trip that you want to go to or like you've had Marrakesh as a potential, do it. It's, I would highly recommend it. But anyway, Nomad at Home, this book is um, Designing the Home More Travelled. Designing the Home More Travelled. Does that make sense? <laughs> Hilary Robertson showcases 10 unique locations, tells the stories of design-led wanderers, the leavers who have moved away from home to build a life elsewhere. Oh, okay. Um, there are a lot of photos and imagery from Marrakesh in here as well. I've had a quick flip through of this already. But yeah, good little new coffee table book. My book that I'm reading, the Roxy Nafusi Manifest, I have nearly finished that now. So I've decided to get her second one because I really enjoyed it. It's called Dive Deeper. It's basically just an extension of the first book. And I quite like these books because they allow you to get really involved and get your pen and jot down and have a bit of a in fact this one looks like it's got even more so um areas that you can have a little scribble and jot down all your thoughts but then she also does these so i thought i would get them first of all it's called the mantras 52 mantras to raise your vibration a box full of cards with different mantras on having little cue cards for your morning affirmations I, I find anyway really helps it's the first sort of thing I go to is like a Pinterest board or something whereby I'm looking for quotes I can't just think of them off the top of my head um, so I like to pick one choose one think of it in the morning carry that affirmation with me throughout the day and then at the end of the day have a bit of a journal or a gratitude type couple of things I've been grateful for and how I've maybe stuck with the mantra that kind of thing so like if I literally just 
pick one at random. I am ready to receive the abundance of the universe. I'm ready to receive the abundance of the universe. And then if you are a journal lover, she also does her own journal, the journal it's called. And I love this, good gift idea as well, because it comes in this gorgeous deep green box. And the actual journal itself is just like a linen covered journal with the dark green um, kind of like bookmark, page marker. And yeah, it's just plain linen and it's guided. It's a 12 week um, journal that you can follow. You could just start today if you wanted to. I think what I might do is save it for the new year because I always love a fresh new journal for the start of the year. And I feel like I've already got a couple on the go at the minute that I've been doing. So, but this is really good. It's got daily thoughts, practice gratitude, the benefits of it, weekly reviews, self-love check-ins. And yeah, it's just a really nice, gorgeous, gorgeous journal. But anyway, I think I'm gonna start with tackling the kitchen and maybe giving this a uh, mop a go. So I'm gonna hoover first, see how far we get with this. Hasn't really turned out to be much of a cleaning video, has it? And I've first got to figure out, oh, there we go. Has that gone there? is ready to be scrubbed <laughs> which i'm actually really excited for i'm gonna dilute some of this zara home multi-floor cleaner in white jasmine with some water and also i'm just gonna pop a little bit of washing up liquid in there as well just to real get break up any kind of dirt we're just gonna see how we go It's one dirty kitchen towel and one much cleaner floor. I have come to the end of my autumn candle, this autumn leaves one. There we go, that is all done. And then I've also um, finished burning my uh, one that I've got on the island. So I'm gonna replace them both with two brand new fresh ones. Get them lit so that the house, which I have to admit, having cleaned the floor, it smells amazing using that Zara floor cleaner. But I'm going to, yeah, get some new candles lit now.
thing I didn't actually do in my autumn decorate video with autumn decorate with me video is kind of like touch on the kitchen wear so obviously we've done decorations throughout the rest of the house now we are into the thick of it and it is officially autumn I wanted to bring all of the kitchen stuff pop it all away there's a couple of things I want to switch out like for instance this um, kitchen roll holder if throughout the rest of autumn if you see any of these items within my vlogs you'll know where they're all from so I've got my little Le Creuset duo actually I've got this kind of like nibbles bowl tea caddy and then this little ramekin i think i've got both of these from cheshire oaks i might go to cheshire oaks in a couple of days i've got a couple of new stores so let me know if you want me to vlog that then i also have some of these baking cups you may have seen these ones in a recent vlog and then i've got these orange ones which i'm yet to use some little napkins and then i've got my salt and pepper shakers tom really likes having the salt as like a pinch pot so so what I might do is maybe have these out for for whenever we kind of sit on the dining table and actually have dinner and for now I could always just pop them on the kitchen shelf up there somewhere then I've got this soup mug this is from home sense speaking of soup we had the most gorgeous chicken and sweet corn soup that Tom made like homemade chicken and sweet corn soup but I'm thinking I want like a tomatoey garlicky one fresh crusty bread or a cheese toasty with it. That is my go-to autumn dinner. And then this little kind of casserole pot is from Next. But then I've also got this one from Matalan this year, which I prefer. I prefer the texture of this one, but I don't think I would use this for cooking. I don't think. I quite like having this as just a decorative bowl. I might even, I don't know, might even just pop this out on display. These are last year but i never got around to using them so i thought i would bring them out this year so that i can get a chance to use them 7.99 this one was a little loaf dish and then a pie dish as well we could do like pecan pie i've also got those plates from next little side plates these little loaf cases ba baking pans are from the same um they're all home scents this little i've got a matching mug to this this is emma bridgewater little side plate for like biscuits at halloween and then this little side plate in sage green 3.99 from home scents i love this this is also from next and that is, yeah, my little autumn kind of kitchenware purchases. doing it or not recently but spice apple from MS if you can get your hands on it it's delicious if you like that kind of like fruity herbal tea and i've got it in my sweater weather mug because it is sweater weather outside it is pretty torrential it's eased off a little bit now but earlier when i was like cleaning the floor and stuff it was just torrential so yeah didn't stop me having the doors wide open though. I love it. The sound of rain coming in when it's that heavy, I just love it. So I've got my candles lit, my tea in hand, and I'm going to end today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's vlog. Just a reminder again, if you want to shop any of the items that I showed at the start of this video from Shein, I will leave them linked in the description box down below along with my discount code hi freya which will get you an extra 15 percent off any purchase but yeah thank you to them for very kindly working with me on today's video hope you guys have enjoyed it thumbs up if you have subscribe for more and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys <laughs>